Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me, kind of talk through, makeup tutorial. It's going to be a little bit more chit chatty than usual, although <laughs> my videos are pretty chit chatty already. So, you know. But anyway, here's the before and let's get into the after. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to be doing is taking my Too Faced Hangover Primer. I've been using this one lately. Um, I was using the Hourglass one and then, I, I don't know, I just decided to use this. So I use one pump and I apply it to my face like this. I usually just do, you know, major areas and then I always have a little bit left so I always put it on my cheeks because I, I need that obviously in my cheek area. The most but yeah I've really been liking this primer um I don't really have that many things to say about it just I like it so before I put on my foundation I usually use the NYX dark um dark circle concealer <laughs> I almost forgot the name of it I don't know why and I usually just apply it with my middle finger it's like the lightest finger that you can use either that or the ring finger too as well that one's also pretty light so, something fun. So lately I haven't been posting a ton of videos that I want to be posting and stuff because I actually got, I got a new job so it's kind of been taking over my life a little. And um, I only have two days a week right now that have days off and then I'm usually running errands those days. And then I'm like, oh wait, but I never filmed and I want to like, be able to film during the day so I get some daylight and I always use my ring light anyway but it's been getting in the way a little. Alrighty, so now I'm going to be using my L'Oreal True Match Lumi um, foundation. I'm in the color for winter <laughs> because it was getting a little bit too dark. I'm in N3. And I'm also going to be using that with a new NYX Beauty Blender. Really excited about this because um, it has the same shape as the Beauty Blender, but it has the flat side which I love and that's why I love my Real Technique ones because I'm like obsessed. I post more content on my YouTube channel. I want to post more on my Instagram, at Elizabeth Hope. And um, I want to, I just want to do more because this is what I want to be doing. I want to be doing YouTube and I want to, you know, have my own channel and stuff and fun stuff, you know? So one thing that's been really, really fun is that I've been getting Ipsy bags. And um, as you can see, I've done a few reviews. I'm going to be using some of the products that I got at my bag um, this month in this video, which I was very excited about. Guys, I've been getting the best bags, like, ever. And they are so good. I'm like, oh my god, I don't know. This next one's going to really stink because I've been getting such good bags that I'm like destined for a bad bag any any time. It's probably gonna be my birthday month, um, which is in May, so fun times. But no, seriously, I am so impressed for $10, and I've been tracking like how much the products would cost. They're so expensive, and I like literally, I'm just so blown away, and it, it has not upset me yet, so very, very excited. So I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape, finally got it, <laughs> I'm so excited, and I've been using it like a lot, and I really have been loving it. No bad words, no bad words at all, like you just need to go and try it out because it's that good. So I actually filmed a hair tutorial on how I do my curly hair, so I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, I'm just going to set my under eyes because they're always crease up um but so I, I actually filmed a hair tutorial on how I do my curly hair and when I filmed the video I was like I'm just gonna film it I'm just gonna do it whatever blah 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 guys I have this huge zit on my face and I cannot bring myself to edit the video so the video is going to be a little bit late <laughs> I'm probably going to actually film this the talking part of me talking probably next. Just know that that video is coming. It is on its way. It is just delayed a little bit because of minor technical issues. Alright. Mix 
expects me to be bronzing it up. So why do I have you guys here? Do let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see on this channel. I want to do more fashion videos and I've been getting a lot of new clothes so I definitely want to do a haul really really soon. So I should be having a haul up on my channel relatively soon. I'm just going to make it like a uh, March haul because I've been getting a lot of stuff this month with a little bit of stuff from February. Just going in with my contour. I use this like Smashbox little thing I got at Sephora from a Beauty Insider gift. It's actually lasted me very very long which I am super impressed with because I did not think it would last me long at all. So next up I'm going to be using Carly Bibles palette which this is her original palette and then I know her deluxe one is coming out soon. I was like mm, some new colors in there I really really want. So I'm going to be using that today. So actually I'm going to go in first with the highlighter before I forget. <laughs> So I'm going to be taking, I'm going to take this pink one right down here. She doesn't have any names on these, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for that too as well. Because I, I'm just so excited for all these collabs. Like, have you seen Jeffrey and Mandy's collab? Dying. Um, I'm also really excited for Jacqueline Hill's collab. She's like obviously one of my favorites. So I'm super, super excited for her collab. But cannot wait for it to come out. Um, which hopefully soon because I thought it was supposed to come out in March, but it didn't. I also just got the new Morphe um, eyeshadow palette. I believe it's the 35R palette. Very excited for that. I was kind of hoping it was coming today so I can film with it, but not a problem. At least then I can test it out during the week and really get used to it. Okay, so first color I'm going to take is this upper corner one right up here. The first one, the vanilla E color. And I'm just going to pat that down so it can be a base for my eyes. Who else is doing a collab? Laura Lee and Gabriel Zamora. So excited for their MAC collab. I have my gift cards waiting for them. I literally get Macy's gift cards all the time, so I always just use it on all my MAC products. Um, but I am so excited for their collab to come out. Um, I feel like everyone in the makeup industry is coming out with stuff. Desi Perkins' new um, sunglasses. Oh, Amazing. Amazing. Okay. So next I'm going to go in with Burnt Orange from my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette because I know that um, Carly doesn't have like a transition shade in there that's like to my liking. But I know she's coming out with one with a new one. So excited. I'm just going to do a nice uh, smoky eye. Right, so since I forgot to do my eyebrows, I'm going to do those real quick. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Duo in Soft Brown. And I usually just like to fill them in. Also, I haven't been filming too as well because my eyebrows have been ferocious. Ferocious. They have been so bad. And I'm like, I just need to get them done so I can film again because... They were terrible. So, so bad. Um, so yeah, I finally got them done. So now, mm -hmm, once again, hey. So next, from this month's Ipsy bag, I have the bag right here. Super cute. It was like French theme and of course, obviously. I love it because I'm obsessed with like anything that's like French. <laughs> so I got a few new products. So I'm using my Elizabeth Mott blending brush and I'm going to be taking the middle shade right, the top middle shade. I'm going to put that right into my crease. So something, something else that's fun. <laughs> just remembered this. I did background for a movie that a uh, new director filmed while he was here in Boston, which is really, really fun. 
And um, if you haven't know, knew this before, I, uh, I actually do background work for acting. Um, hopefully one day I actually get to be the actress <laughs> in the movie, you know. But for now I'm doing background and it's so much fun. I was actually in American Odyssey and um, Central Intelligence. Both I was um, actually on the screen, which is really, really cool. Very rare too as well. Now I'm going to be taking this last shade over here and I'm still going to be using this blending brush because I really, really like it. <laughs> so yeah, um, excited to see if I'm actually in this movie. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I am because that would be really, really cool. I was in the scene, It's oh, also it's called, it used to be called The Greens Are Gone, but now it's called um, We Don't Belong Here. And the director is Pierre Peterson. And um, it was like wicked fun, but it was seriously so hot that day um, when we were filming that like some people were like going down. They were literally like fainting. It was so bad. But um, lots and lots of fun on set. Next I'm going to be taking the darkest color on here, which is the dark purple right, right over here. I'm going to use that for my outer corner. So yeah, see if you can find me. Um, I should be in the scene where... Uh, Caitlin Dever, I believe that's what her name is, um, she's singing um, in a bar and she's singing rainy days and Mondays. You know when you have those days where you feel like one eye is just going slightly pointier than the other? I'm having one of those days. I think I might actually take the highlight color, the second highlight color, and just uh, stomp that right in the middle. So I just went in with the darkest shade in this palette and then a little bit of burnt orange again to put it under my uh, my lash line right over here. Over here. Alrighty, I'm going to turn off the camera for two seconds while I do my eyeliner and I will be right back. So I went a little extra on my eyeliner. I winged it a little bit more than usual. I usually like to do a light, uh, a small wing. I'm not like one of these like, ooh, let me elongate the wing till like it reaches the sky. But you know, kind of add something new to the look. Anyway, I used my Maybelline Studio Eye um, Gel from Maybelline, obviously, and it's in black. And then I also, underneath my eye, to make them look a little bit bigger, I use the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in white. Fun! I just got this, too, in Ulta. Fun, fun. Okay, so also before I forget, I just want to let you guys know what else I got in my Ipsy bag, too, as well. And for some reason, I feel like I have one more thing, but I can't remember what it was. I remember what it was. It was an uh, eyeliner, too, as well. Anyway, it was a black eyeliner by Model Co. And I remember I used it, like, once during the week, and then my eyes started to water a little, so I'm not sure if I'm allergic to it or not, so I need to, like, use it on, like, the low down and, like, try it first. Because sometimes the, um, sometimes eyeliners make my eyeliners, my eyeliners, <laughs> make my eyes really, really watery, so remember that but I also got this beautiful beautiful well the, the packaging disappeared but I will put the name of what this is like over here beautiful color as you can see I cannot wait to use this in a tutorial it is gorgeous I also got the brush and then I also got this milk cleanser which I have heard mixed reviews on and I'm kind of scared to use it I don't want my face to break out. <laughs> now for the eyes. I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes really really quickly and then put on some mascara. I use the Buxom mascara and I've been using that for like years. It is my favorite mascara. Holy Grail mascara. Not applying any lashes today because I can't find them. They have disappeared. They've run away from me. I think they ran away in the night. I don't know. So we're just going to use my real lashes today, which I, I have no problem with. Anyway, I'm going to be using my new Tarte lip paint, and I'm not sure what the color is, mm, and vibe in. Uh, this was also for my Ipsy bag, too, as well. Alright, the only thing I wish I did was use a lip liner with this, but... Hmm... Just gonna hit it with some setting spray. 
I love this stuff so much. I'm going to go out and get some more. It was only because I did work at Sephora, which I don't know if any of you guys knew that or not, if I said it. But I got this in my gratis bag, which... Oh, amazing! I no longer work at Sephora. I work at um, somewhere else, but it was a lot of fun while it lasted. <laughs> you know. Okay. Anyway, yay! Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you want more videos like this or if you just want me to do straight up tutorials or what kind of tutorials. <laughs> I have a whole list of things that I want to do anyway, but I would like to hear from you guys what you guys want to see as well. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Alright, so now it's a... Uh, Okay, it's getting late. It's like 7.30. I'm probably gonna go and wash this off now and take a shower. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!